relevant. Go go ahead, Zbot. Talk to me. Well, I just wanted, I just wanted to chime in real quick because you left out a very important piece of that interview, and um, funny enough, um, so Baker, who we all know, he 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 loves the media. Um, he doesn't care what anybody says. He takes none of it to heart at all. Baker doesn't care. Um, he doesn't let anything get to him. He doesn't let anybody bother him. Uh, as we know, he is the he is the quintessential role model for the position in the NFL, obviously. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, and when you go to a sporting event, you might consider the fact that you're, there might be people in the stands that don't particularly like you and they boo you. Now that's what happens at a sporting event, but Baker who found some incredible way to relate professional football to working in a cubicle wants to get revenge for those who booted him by going to their job and booing at them. And, and unfortunately for me today, Baker came into my office and did just that. I would love Please to show up somebody's it. cubicle and just boo the shit out of him. <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm trying my best. I lied, okay? I lied on my resume. I don't know how to use Microsoft Excel, okay? I'm trying my best here, all right? <laughs> you suck. First of all, I, just, I can't believe he said that. And I can't believe he came and, and did that oh, to me. Today. I just can't believe it. But I was doing wow. a bad job in his defense. The fact that you, this is what I love about it. The fact that, that you zoomed in on your. <laughs> 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 love, love every bit of it. Um, I, I feel him though. I do feel him. Like, yo, they, they unfairly boo his ass when your team has been irrelevant. He's made you guys relevant. You've had a quarterback, the laundry list of quarterbacks the Cleveland Browns have had, and they have the nerve to disrespect this guy. And they, they're holding on to him on the roster. You just brought yeah. in uh, Dubs uh, onto the team right now, and you got you got uh, Brissett on the squad, and you signed a fully, fully guaranteed contract to Deshaun Watson. Like, yo, he has every right to feel the way he does. And he okay. did, just, yo, find a place for this guy and just trade him already. And Seattle's the best place thus far. That would be the best place for him to land. Um, they got who they got. Cody. They're not going to take him. They're going to go with Drew Locke, and it's because they don't want to deal with him. That was gross. Let's do a that let's do gross. a comparison here because there's a, there's an actually there's a great comparison about this particular topic, and it goes to show you how it should be handled in both parties. Because the same exact thing that happened to Baker Mayfield happened to Matt Ryan, except mm. Matt Ryan is a stand up guy who has respect in this league. Baker doesn't. Ouch. Matt Ryan's on another team today. Baker isn't, and he's lucky he will if he will yeah. be. And if he does, he's going to be a backup. And he better get used to the fact that that is what has happened based on the way he has carried himself and that alone. He would have another job. Hell, Sam Darnold, okay, had got another job playing far worse football than Baker Mayfield did because Sam Darnold isn't a problem in the locker room, in the media, a constant distraction, which Baker Mayfield is. Listen, Rico, Deshaun Watson was supposed to go to uh, Atlanta for a while, right? right? Matt Ryan quietly said, listen, you guys want to go that route? Fine, but I'm out of here. And that's what he did. You haven't heard about it since, and he's been handling himself very diplomatically, hasn't gone on the airwaves, and basically blamed everybody but himself. That's what Baker Mayfield did. You have a perfect example of two different types of guys. And funny enough, the one guy that you'd much rather have in your locker room has a job today and Baker Mayfield doesn't. Wow. Well, I mean, listen, mm -hmm. you you have no I, I guess you have no sympathy for, for Baker. I mean, he, he came. I have sympathy for the draft. injuries last I year. I have sympathy for that. I have no sympathy for the way he's handling himself. He just, he, doubled, he just doubled down on it, Rico, on that podcast. He said he has no regrets. He 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 drove. He, he regret? drove. He drove you, Odell Beckham Jr. out of town. He had three different coaches. He he personally, well, he yeah, personally I'll, I'll, on a week in and week out basis was a storyline outside of the play on the field, and not to mention his play in itself was not worth having that type of issue around. There's a reason the Browns moved off of him. He wasn't bad enough to move off of Rico. He wasn't. It's because of the of the relationship that he severed. That is why he is no longer a Cleveland Brown today. Well, okay. Wow. Well, well, he is a Cleveland Brown. 
So like if, okay. if, if he, technically, oh my God, Rav, come on, I, he, you know, you know what I'm saying? He, he ain't a, he ain't a Cleveland Brown. He, well, well, you know what I'm saying? Like he, 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 even if he kept him around. You think he would sit on that bench? Do you think? Do you think Baker Mayfield would show up as a backup for the Cleveland Browns Absol- next week? Absolutely the not. I, absolutely. Yeah, well, well, and I wouldn't he, either. Yes, I, I, well, I, I wouldn't. Either. Either. I wouldn't. Well, he either. can't. How he can't now? Listen, so yo, so they disrespected him. They told him. They told him that you're gonna be our guy because Deshaun was like, yo, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not going to the Browns. I'm not doing it. So they're like, all right, guys, get ready. It's going to be you, Baker. And then they flip it around, and they bring in Deshaun Watson. Not only do they bring him Deshaun Watson, they give him a freaking five-year guaranteed contract. So now I was your starting quarterback. I was your future. And now you just punk me off like that? Then trade me. No. Nope, yeah, so, so I, I, I don't I think there's any value. I don't he, think there's any value. Oh, there was value. They could have gotten something for him. But they now they're holding on to him. They're yeah, making yeah they're holding on to him. That, that's what I think. And, and 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 that's I think I think this is where he's. I think this is where I can kind of understand how he feels. Okay, I, I don't necessarily think that he should act the way he's been acting. But the fact that he's like what? The, the, What's the, he doing? Right? Because because he, he's. I mean, he's being poo pooed on, man. I mean, let's just be honest. Like like look, Browns. You don't want this guy on your team anymore. Get rid of him. At least cut him. You know, I'm not even saying trade him. Cut him. Let him go. Give him a chance to, to, to go on somewhere else. But the fact that you're still holding him on to this roster, I think that's the issue right there. Now, if I'm Baker, I'm not I'm not going, you know, public. I'm not making all these appearances and saying I'm, I'm not doing that. I think that's 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 the issue right there is, is the, nice. the professionalism at that point. Tua, what Tua? You got me saying Tua because I'm reading this one. Tua handled Watson on his ass all year better you're than damn right he did. Well, Tua, Tua's they're two different individuals, right? Tua is a much more docile guy. He just they'll take it. He took the abuse over there and didn't say a damn word. Bake Baker, when you get drafted as the franchise guy, they're gonna treat you like a franchise guy. They're gonna give you the commercials. They're gonna give you all that. So he thought he was gonna be around there for a long time. This ain't no Tim Couch. This is it was Baker. Baker got you guys to the playoffs. Number one overall pick. You feel me? Like it, you guys haven't done shit in forever. And then you're going to do him like that? Yo, that's dirty. That is a dirty movie. I'm dude. shocked that you find a problem in it. You wanted Deshaun Watson over Josh Allen. Now you want you want to keep Baker around despite Deshaun Watson? I think they're doing him dirty. Mm-hmm. And first and foremost, if we're going to go there, let's go. <laughs> oh, there, I mean, ready. Ready. I'm stunned. I'm stunned <laughs> because they got your guy. Deshaun Watson is, is going him. to uh, Deshaun Watson is always going to be my guy, but we're bringing up two different things here. I'm saying they disrespect the Baker Mayfield, and they they should have just let his ass leave. Now, me picking Deshaun Watson, and I got to make this clear for everyone. Had to me, anytime Deshaun Watson comes, you got to bring it up. Yeah, I clarify, gotta bring it up. Clarify. Me picking Deshaun Watson over Josh Allen was when Josh Allen had his first solid year and you, like, i thought you said it the night before the divisional game against the chiefs you said no. if we had watson tomorrow's a lock i thought you said that's what you said where, it. where did you get that <laughs> first of all it, it came up when um what's that dude that you guys everyone hates on uh oh, on that man. on that show nick wright nick wright was oh, like, yeah, yeah, there's no quarterback yeah. that no there's no team that would not trade for deshaun watson right now at the time and i was like well man he just had his first great year I'm like, so I'm looking, if I'm going to make a decision on Deshaun Watson has done it time and time and time again over Josh Allen did it one time, in that moment, I'm taking Deshaun Watson. I love both players, but I'll have the edge over Josh Allen with Deshaun Watson. Why? Because he had a poo-poo team, and he did he had 5,000 yards freaking throwing. He had like over yeah. 30 yeah. 35 passing touchdowns. I was like, I'll take that. When Josh you want to know what I think is funny though is you have to defend it to the grave, and in all honesty, you weren't even wrong. I don't even think you were wrong. I know it wasn't exactly. wrong. Exactly, it was well, no, it was it no. Was wrong. That's why I think it's so funny because because that I laugh every time. That's what I love about this fan base too. Is like you can't even you can't even you can't say anything attempt. about Josh. No, nothing, no, not a word. Nothing. And that's why I loved it because you knew you knew you once you hit that button, you're like, all right, I need and, to and I said, my plans need tonight. To- <laughs> Send it and give yeah. me all the smoke. If I said Josh Allen woke up with a bad hair day, my goodness, the pick forks would be out for me. Oh and say, His hair is amazing. What are you <laughs> yeah. no, knock yeah. it off. Knock it off. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up, Z Bob, because people are gonna <laughs> I I to. every time I hear this John and I'm with you. I had some first thing I think. Yeah. Yeah. Pierre is gonna clip this and he's gonna put that shit on there. I guarantee <laughs> you. 